Today's episode of Overworked History is about Hedwig Kessler, Hollywood star and inventor. Hedwig Eva Maria Kessler was born November 9, 1914 in Vienna. Her father, Emil Kessler, was a bank manager who had an interest in technology. He taught his daughter all about invention and design. At the same time, she was becoming interested in acting. At 16, she was an extra in the romantic comedy Guild of the Stars, English for Money on the Street. It was her first film. Kiesler's first starring role came when she was 18. In 1933, she married Austrian arms dealer Friedrich Mandel. Mandel worked heavily with the Nazi party, and she attended many meetings Mandel had with members of the Nazi party. During these meetings, many scientific developments were discussed, which furthered Kiesler's interest in science. Mandel tried to discourage her from acting, which she resented. In 1937, Kiesler decided to flee, and she left for London. While in London, she met an MGM talent scout, who convinced her to move to Hollywood. Kiesler also changed her name to Hedy Lamarr, in honor of silent film star Barbara Lamarr. She soon began to be promoted as the world's most beautiful woman. Her first Hollywood film was Algiers in 1938. She became a prominent actress and starred opposite many big names like Spencer Tracy, Clyde Gable, Judy Garland, and James Stewart. At the beginning of World War II, Hedy Lamarr decided she could work to help the American war effort. At the time, one of the largest problems facing the military was the enemy's hijacking of radio signals used in American torpedoes. If the enemy discovered the frequency, they could send the torpedo off course. Lamar and composer George Anfield designed a system to rotate the frequency using a prior piano roll. It was patented in 1942. The Navy was at first hesitant to use the device, but still considered it an important development. By the 1960s, it was standard on Navy vessels. During the war, she also worked closely with Howard Hughes. After examining birds in flight, Lamar suggested Hughes' airplanes be more streamlined. Hughes assigned many of his best scientists to implement Lamar's idea into aircraft design. Lamar wanted to join the National Inventors Council, but was told she could better help the war effort by selling war bonds. Traveling to 16 different cities around the country, she sold $25 million worth of war bonds in just 10 days. They all assemble on the treasury steps to launch the drive for funds. Greer Garson, Jimmy Cagney, Ann Rutherford, Irene Dunn, Hedy Lamar, And how that crowd lines up to buy bonds from their favorites. They buy knowing that every dollar invested helps send more planes, tanks, and ships to the United Nations. This is the people's way of saying, from the home front to the battlefront, from movie stars to sales clerks, America's 130 million citizens are in the war. After the war, Lamar returned to acting. Her final film was in 1958, and she became known as The Close, contacting friends and family only by phone. She died in the year 2000. Though much better known for her acting, the main idea behind Hedy Lamarr's frequency rotating system is still in use in modern Bluetooth and Wi-Fi systems. Hedy Lamarr was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. Thank you.